The first ever Super 12 game was in New Zealand at the Showgrounds Oval in Palmerston North on the 1st of March 1996. The Wellington Hurricanes hosted the Auckland Blues. So referee Paddy O'Brien starts the watch and we're away. Professional rugby is alive and kicking here in Palmerston North. And the crowd didn't have to wait too long for the first try. It was scored by the Hurricanes and their fullback, Alamar Yeremiah. This isn't a bad game at times here, and this is a time when it's not bad. Brown having another crack. That's a bit more like we're used to seeing from Ollo Brown. Dummies to the left and right. Satutu, he's not far from the goal line. He might go all the way. Finds a player inside. Andrew Blowers. Good support play from the young loose forward. Although rugby had turned professional, the halftime break was a throwback to the amateur era, with both teams remaining on the pitch for its duration. They're taking it quickly again. This has worked before Zinzan Brook. Remember him getting a try in Johannesburg in a test match like that. Tonu'u. Tonu'u's got close and he's got down. Try. Junior Tonu'u. That's a good try. And again, quick reactions from the Blues. Not so quick from the Hurricanes. Junior Tonu'u scores. Well, boy, this game's backwards and forwards, isn't it? There's nothing in it now. And they've got the ball again, have Auckland. They've got backs out wide. Satutu's waiting for the ball. They can't get it to him. Clark on the inside break. This is Spencer. Spencer all the way. Spencer scores. And this will probably win the game for the Auckland Blues inside the last five minutes of the match. Carlos Spencer backs up well as he's forte and he scores a try and that's taken Auckland into the lead. The game was also memorable for the one and only conversion scored by Zinzan Brook in his illustrious career. 36-28 the final score and the Super 12 was up and running. So the final score, please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Brian Canal.